Hello and welcome to my Linux lectures. Today we are going to think about text processing and in particular how to search for text and how to replace blocks of text. So let's begin by getting some text from the internet and here this URL I'm showing you is an RSS feed of headlines from the BBC News website. When I press enter, the curl command fetches this web information from the internet and prints it out on the standard console. Let's just wait for a minute. Here we go, and you can see that the information is formatted. I'm scrolling up here as RSS, some kind of XML, and there are lots of these title tags and on a single line is a single title which corresponds to a headline. So there's lots of other information, lots of metadata associated with each headline. For instance, we've got links and dates and even uh, pictures of some kind or another. All we're interested in is getting hold of the titles themselves for now. So let's use the grep command which will filter all the lines of text and only print out the lines that include the title keyword. We're fetching the information gave from the internet and look, this time the only headlines we print out are those that include the title keyword. Great! Okay, next what we're going to do is try and remove these XML tags. I'm going to highlight one here. Look, there's an XML tag there. It says title. This is the end of the headline here. It says slash title to close the XML tag. So I'm going to use the same command again, only I'm going to pipe it this time to the said command. Said is a stream editor and this allows us to do search and replace operations on the command line. Said, single quote, slash, for sorry, S for search, slash, and now this is the pattern we're searching for, which is title, slash, and then the thing we want to replace it with, we're just going to replace it with the empty string, so we just put another slash, and then G to say we want to do this globally, right the way throughout the feed of information, and then close the quote, Right, and look, now all the titles have disappeared. We've still got the open and close XML tag. Um, let's see if we can get rid of that as well. Let's go back here, and this time we'll say we want to remove title with the tag. And as you can guess, this is going to remove all the open title tags, but not the closed title tags. We'd like to get rid of those as well. I guess... What we want to do here is to use something called a regular expression. Inside the, oh no, I'm not going to use square brackets, sorry. I'm going to say I need to get rid of zero or more forward slash dyn. Star is zero or more. Now the forward slash is itself a special caret inside said, so I need to use a backslash to escape the character, as I would do in a C string. And now when I run this, it should get rid of both the open and the close. Excellent. So here is a list of headlines from the BBC News website, and we don't really want that one there, that's just uh, BBC News, we don't really want that one. We don't really want this one as well as the style sheet. So I'll tell you what, let's try and get rid of these ones here. Let's say we want to remove grep v, we'll remove anything that says BBC. And we also want to remove this XML style sheet. Let's also say grep the style sheet. And now we just have the headlines. There they are there. I suppose this video here as well is a bit annoying, so we get rid of that too with another said. Said stream editor again, quote. And we want to search for video colon space, replace that with the empty string, do that globally, and here we are, here are our headlines. So this is all the news on the BBC website, or at least the BBC RSS feed. Now, what it might be interesting to do is to search through this to um, try and return headlines about particular topics. So let's try and search for headlines about China. So I'm going to say grep China. 
Ooh, no headlines returned. That's because I didn't use a capital letter for China. China begins with capital C. This time, oop, I get some headlines. I think they're all about the same thing, actually, but never mind. What I could have done is I could have said grep, and with a small c, I could have said dash i, which says the search should be case insensitive, start a match capital C China, all uppercase China, or any uh, combination of upper and lowercase letters for China. So here we go, we see headlines on China. I tried to look for headlines on Scotland as well, but I don't think there are any. Let's grep for Scotland. No Scottish headlines here. There is a Scottish headline, last time I looked, on the sports RSS feed. If I change news for sports, I think we might find something about Scotland in here. There we go. Hardy and Dell start for Scotland, whoever Hardy and Dell are. Right, let's have a short debrief on that session. The key concept we thought about in this video was the Unix pipe. This is a way of connecting one command's output to another command's input. I'm drawing the syntax here for the pipe. Command A generates the output, which is piped to the input of command B. In the example we looked at, the curl command was generating the original textual input. This was then filtered by grep and said commands, which reduced the actual amount of text. And eventually the text was printed to the output.